Good morning and welcome back to my channel, A Typical 60, where I review wigs and sometimes other things, but mostly wigs. And I'm also a huge proponent of women over 50 and 60. I don't edit, I don't use filters. Um, let's just say Sports Illustrated would never have me on the cover because I don't do Photoshop. But anyway, if you are looking for that kind of content, um, please hit the subscribe button. And even though my videos aren't frequent, at least when they do pop up, you'll be able to see them. So today, I am reviewing this truly lovely wig by Inner Belza. Now, here's the box that it came in. And as usual, I can never fit stuff back in a box the way that it came. But before I go on to tell you more about this wig, this wig was gifted to me in exchange for a review. And it also came with lots of goodies, like this gripping headband and this brush. And I love these wig brushes. And this wig comb and this little cosmetic case. Oops, there's, there's the net for the wig. And here is the cosmetics case, and in it came a really cute scarf. So, that's a lot of stuff. And let me tell you about this wig, okay? So, this wig is Easton. Now, Easton is just below the shoulders, okay? I think this is a great, great length for the woman who doesn't want to go super short, but doesn't want to go super long either. Speaking for myself, and I really can't speak for anybody else, I am not a fan of short pixie wigs, simply because I have jowls, my skin is sagging, and I think at this juncture in my life, in my late 60s, a wig that's longer gives a more youthful appearance. I don't want to look 20. I don't want to look 30. And if you are in your 60s, I don't think it's a good practice to try to look 20 or 30. But I think it's good to have an overall youthful appearance. And I think a good head of hair takes away from maybe a lot of the wrinklings or double chins or whatever you have. I think a good head of hair gets the attention rather than the flaws that you have. But anyway, this baby is Easton and she is in the color F27 slash 88. She's a ginger. She's a ginger ale. Not the kind that you drink, but she's really cute. She's a ginger with depth because it's not a, your basic like red wig. We've got highlights in here, which I think are great and it adds to the natural look. Um, we also have some brown and if you can see it, a little bit of blonde. So it's really, I would say it's really a cross between a ginger wig and a strawberry blonde wig. So let me show you how Easton looks from side to side and in the back, okay? So here's my right side. Here's the back. And there's good movement. And here's my left side, okay? Now, I will tell you, I kind of fluffed it up a little because I kind of like my wigs a little on the messy side because that makes them look more natural. Now, when I did take Easton out of the box, 
she was extremely shiny, like really super shiny. So what I did was I sprayed her with dry shampoo and just hung her up for 24 hours. When I took her down, I just brushed through the wig and I like the way it looks much better. And I think that depends on your personal bio hair. My bio hair, what I have left of it, is not shiny. It's ridiculously dull, even when I had a full head of hair and I went to get my hair styled and everything and cut, it was always dull. No matter how straight they made it, it was dull. Therefore, I'm more comfortable in a wig that has a dull finish rather than a shiny finish. But it all depends on what you like. Some people were blessed with great shiny hair. So I don't think a dull wig would make them feel 100%. So that's basically all I'm saying. Now let's talk about the style. She is slightly layered. And I just, I love this. This is also a great summer wig. We do have a bang that comes down long. And one thing about this wig that I do have to manipulate with spray or maybe steam, this little piece keeps coming over to the side. So I just have to kind of train it. But that's not unusual with any wig. Like usually any wig that you have is gonna need some sort of manipulation. Uh, this wig is affordable. I will put the price point below. Um, I will put a link to the company below. I will repeat the color below. So everything that you'll need is going to be below. I also have a discount code for you. So that's a good thing too. But let me take her off so I can show you. Okay, here we go. Now, there's not a lot of permatease in here, okay? So this is really a great summer wig because it's not heavy, it's not overly dense, it's just a really nice weight. And I think this is also a great summer wig because you can wear it with a sleeveless dress, you can wear it with a sleeveless top. I have a cotton t-shirt on now and it's great because there's no like textured fabrics to kind of make this wig natty or anything like that. So here we go. We have the Velcro tabs, which I love. I think the Velcro tabs are fabulous. We even have a little silicone strip here to keep the wig in place. We have a nice laser cut edge over here. Overall, this is a very, very well-made wig. So let me put her back on. I hope you're all doing great. The weather here in Philly has been so frustrating because ever since the spring arrived, it's really nice out Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday it rains. And I have a feeling that's the kind of summer that we're gonna have this year. So there you go. This is Easton. She is a great, great wig, very summer friendly. The length is perfect, and I hope you like her. Bye.